big issue for millions of men and women in this country. But now another treatment has been cleared by the FDA. And as Jessica Stilwell found out, low-level laser therapy is showing some promising results. Rose Furio has always had a full head of hair. So when it started falling out, she grew concerned. I was obsessive. I was always looking in the mirror, always checking it out. See what was coming in, what was falling out. When they took the shower, the drain would plug up. and That never happened to me before. And this is what it looked like. Rose, just eight months ago, her hair virtually gone in the front. She was wearing headbands every day to try and cover the growing bald spot. I was getting a little freaked, you know. I was a little con very concerned, you know. You expect men to go bald, but not a woman. Which is why Rose is here at the HP Longevity Center. Every week she gets low-level laser therapy. Okay. And the changes are growing by the day. I'm amazed, especially lately, it's really grown in fast. Low-level lasers have been around since the 1960s, but they were just cleared by the FDA for hair regrowth last year. Each of these units has 79 laser beams inside, and they work to stimulate hair growth at the cellular level. Dr. Michael Marcoux, who's considered the guru of hair restoration, did some of the early research on low-level laser. It works in uh, converting ADP that's in the cells to ATP, which leads to another cascade of events that allows hair to grow. Dr. Marcoux teamed up with clinical director John Santino. I'm a hair research guy. I've been doing this for many, many years. Together, they did a study in 2003 that was published in this medical journal. Their findings led to Canada approving low-level lasers in 04, and then FDA clearance in 07. That information proved positive. Uh, we had, uh, in many cases, double hair counts. Uh, better than 70% of our patients responded favorably. Right now, only three modalities have been FDA cleared for hair regrowth. Rogaine, Propecia, which only men can use, and now the low-level laser therapy. It's one more tool that we have that we didn't have a few years back. And it's a non-invasive tool. Uh, there are no side effects. Now, just like the other treatments for re-hair growth, low-level lasers are not for everyone. Certain patients respond better than others, and it's better to start the treatment with the first signs of hair loss. But for people like Rose, laser therapy is a dream come true. Help me out a lot. I'm happy with the results. Jessica Stilwell, NBC2 News. Jessica says it's important to remember that the low-level laser is a treatment and not a cure. So if you stop using it, you will eventually lose the results. One year of treatment is around $3,500, but once that's over, you can buy a take-home laser comb for maintenance. If you'd like some more information, go to our website, NBC-2.com, and click on News Links. A new business.